Alright, what up guys? Plock the Master Gamer here. Today we're playing some Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a pretty cool trick. And it involves the Soul Trap spell. So basically what this little glitch exploit thing does is it allows you to permanently affect your character with any sort of on-self uh, spell effect if you combine it with a Soul Trap on target spell effect. So I'll, I'll show you guys what I mean here real quick. So first things first, you're going to have to get yourself a Soul Trap spell. I know she sells them. There should be several other people that sell them as well, but uh, she's right here, so we're going to go with that. We're going to take a look at some options here, because we have things like Feather. Feather's good. Uh, we also have things like Shield. You could probably also do things like Chameleon and Invisibility, but uh, r remember that these things are permanent, so uh, if you don't want a permanent effect, don't do it. So if you don't want to be invisible forever, don't do it, you know? Uh, simple as that. Ah, okay, so here we go. These are, these are going to be a good example, too. You got some bound boots, bound helmet, and a bound longbow. All right, so anyways, once you get yourself a pretty decent collection of spells that you might want to use, what you're going to do is you're going to find a spell maker, and you're just going to start making some spells. So first of all, what you need is the soul trap, and what you're going to do is you're going to do soul trap on target. All you need is a duration of one, area of zero. That's all you need. And then any other effect you put on this spell is going to be permanent. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to do bound, Boots, and you don't need to, the duration doesn't matter, you can just do one second. So we're going to do Bound Boots, do Bound Helmet, and we'll do Bound Spear. As you can see, it's a pretty cheap spell too, because everything's only one second. So you get price 15, uh, point cost 2, spell chance over 100%. So you can make these spells that like, even if you have a fairly low level, uh, you should be able to cast pretty much any of this stuff, really. So here we go, Bound Stuff. And this is the next important part here. So if you were to just capture this off into the distance, you'll notice, oh, well, it worked anyway. Uh, usually it doesn't work if you cast it off into the distance. What you need to do is go up against the wall. And casting it up against the wall. Oh, there we go. Actually, yeah, yeah, I just realized that was my, uh, that first thing wasn't my, wasn't my bound item. That was my, my staff. So anyways, yeah, I confused myself there because I already had a staff in my hand and I confused it for the spear. Uh, but what you notice there is that when I actually casted it off into the distance, it did the bound effect, but it only did it for the one second like it's supposed to. But if you cast it at a wall or you cast it at the ground, it will give you the effect permanently. So you can see these are, these are one second effects, right? And cannot drop summon items. But as you can see, it's only supposed to be for one second, but uh, it, it's definitely not oh, for one second. So oh, these, maybe these I have permanently. These I will never stop owning as items. These will forever be in my possession. But yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. You can do that with the bound items. And then also we'll mess around with some more stuff here real quick. Again, we'll do soul trap and we do it on target. And then we'll do something like feather, right? And this is a magnitude one, so this is going to be interesting, but the duration just needs to be one, so, so we'll just call it feather like that. Okay, so first off, 213 out of 500, right? And I'll attach feather. And again, what we're going to do is cast it off into the distance, and you will notice it did work. And it, uh, it seemed to work forever, actually. That's interesting. So maybe it just depends on the specific effect you're using too. Yeah, it's all it's all one second. There's no uh no nothing, right? 33 13 14 15 And we're at zero. What happens if I do it again? I have a feeling you and I are about to become very So that's pretty nice. So then you can ooh fuck. Yeah, obviously that makes it so you can run faster, jump higher, which is pretty neat. Last but not least, we're going to do what I think is the funnest one here. And what we're going to do is... Where's my soul trap? So we'll do a soul trap on target. One second. And then what we're going to do... Flame Atronach on self. A frost Atronach on self. Do a greater bone walker, because why not? Let's do a lesser bone walker too for good... You know what? Let's just do all of them. Why not, right? Who are we kidding? Who are we kidding? So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different summons. Before we, I want to go outside with this one. Because, uh, 
Yeah, you want to go outside for this one, right? Tap to the ground, and uh, look at that. These guys are permanently here, despite being... Jesus Christ, look at that scamp. Despite being one second summoned, they are still here. God, that breathing sound. But yeah, anyways, so you can you can have your own little army here, but the best part about this, now if you, if you have any like vague understanding of how the summoning works in this game, usually if you cast the same summon spell twice, it will just replace the original summon with the new version of it. It'll, it won't, it won't stack. I did actually make a video about stacking summon spells, uh, which you can check that video out if you want, uh, where you, if you make the spells individually, so like let's say you had multiple different uh, summon flame Atronach spells, if you used each one of those individual spells to summon it, you could summon more than one of these dudes. The cool thing about this spell is despite the fact that it is the same spell that you're casting over and over again, it does actually stack, so the more times you cast this spell, the bigger your army gets, and oh boy does it get pretty big, pretty fast. Uh, the only problem here is that they do hurt each other, and since the Atronax are magic, they tend to do area of effect type of shit, Let's which see, isn't very great. So we're gonna resist arrest real quick. Uh, watch these guys go to work. And you know, if you start to run low on uh, you know, army, you just kind of spawn more. Uh, but yeah, anyways, there's, there's plenty of fun stuff that you can do with this exploit. Uh, not limited to creating your own massive army of summons that are permanent, of, of course, until they die. But uh, yeah, there, there's plenty of shit you can do. Just kind of experiment around with, like, you know, on self effect type spells. And yeah, you know, that's, that's pretty much it for this video, though. I just kind of wanted to show you guys this pretty cool exploit. Oh, uh, I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning. I kind of forgot to do this. This whole exploit was recommended to me and explained to me by a subscriber. Can't remember their name right now. They left some comments. I will post that uh, comment picture up here as a bit of a shout-out for them. So yeah, shout-out to uh, this guy for showing me this awesome fucking exploit that somehow I never knew about. I've been playing this game for a while. Didn't didn't quite know about this, and it's it's pretty fucking awesome. So I'm definitely glad he told me about this. I'm gonna have to try my hardest to not exploit this too fucking hard throughout the course of normal gameplay. But yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys found it useful. If you did, make sure to leave a like. It definitely helps me out. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you want to check out any more of this content or any of my other gaming content for that matter. And yeah, with that being said, this has been Plock the Master Gamer with some Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.